Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanase here. So the new product research methods for 2021. Now a lot of things have changed. A lot of things happened during this past year of 2020. A lot of people did face a lot of issues when it comes to doing Shopify dropshipping. However, one thing that was kind of consistent throughout the year was product research. However, since all of these things such as the lockdowns and the so-called illness which took over the world, new strategies have come into play when it comes to finding new winning products for Shopify dropshipping. And in this video, I'm going to be going over two of the newest product research methods that I've started to use more and more often starting within these past few weeks to the past few months to just find more winning products. And this doesn't really matter what advertising platform you use. You could be using Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever you want to use. The most important strategy is that you've used these two sources, which I'm about to reveal in this video to find those products. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you'll have to do to find any kinds of success with these two methods, however, is to just destroy that like button down below for the YouTube gods. It'll take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully you've done that. But let's start off with product research method number one, and this involves the Google Merchant Center. Now, the Google Merchant Center is a very, very powerful tool that I've been using more and more often because not only does it give you insight into how your store is doing, how your products are doing if you're using Google Ads specifically, but it also gives you access to some of the most winning products which are currently run on Google Ads. And there's a new section within this Google Merchant Center which has just recently been launched which I've been using to find more winning products. And this section is called the Relative Demand section. Now, in order to even find this section, however, you'll have to have spent some amount of money on your Google Ads account. It cannot be just a brand new account. A lot of people on my previous video did mention that they were unable to find this section. That's simply because this part of Google Merchant Center is only available to the older ad accounts or those which have spent some money. So before you find this, be sure to spend some money, launch some campaigns on your Google Ads account, and then you'll be able to see this. But this relative demand section can directly be found under the growth section on the left of your Google Merchant Center. So this is the menu that you should be seeing if you have spent some amount of money and under the growth section, the best seller section should be visible to you if this program is available. Now, if you don't see this, don't worry, just stick till the end because there's another strategy I'm about to reveal very soon, which you can use regardless of what your status is with your Google Merchant Center. But once you do see this section, you want to go ahead and click on the best seller section. Under that section, you'll see this area right here. Now, this is a very powerful device and I've already made a video on this, which you can check out on my channel. So I'm not really going to go in depth into this section again, but I am going to give an overview of this section. So on the top, you can choose between different countries and whatever country you choose, you'll be able to see a variety of different products which are available under that country. Now for these products, the beauty is that these are currently getting sold really, really well on Google via Google ads. And that is exactly why these products are visible on this section. However, the more important thing you want to keep a note of is the category section because when you click on category you'll be able to choose between a wide variety of different categories which are available for you and i normally like to go through majority of these categories so i can get an idea of what's really selling well on google and what's not really selling well because again these products are directly sold on google via the google shopping ads platform or via google search ads so these products literally google is telling you what to sell if you plan to use google ads however these products can also be used on different advertising platforms as long as you match the general criteria, which I always go over in my other videos. So I'm not going to talk about it in this video. But what I want you to see is right here under this section, the relative demand section. Now, this is something that was actually not available previously with the Google Merchant Center. I just began to use it this past week. So this is kind of a new strategy and also why you should destroy the like button. But if we hover over it, here's exactly what the relative demand section is. So it's a product's estimated demand in relation to the product with the highest popularity rank in the same category and country. So what is happening right now is that Google is comparing these products to some other products which are already very popular within the given category and within the given country. So there are several different ways to rank these products starting from very high and going all the way down to very low if you go back to the google doc we can see exactly what you want to be doing so you want to be trying to find and sift through products which are at medium relative demand or above so what i mean by that is if we hover over this we want to be looking at products which are at medium demand, high demand, and very high. Nothing below medium, such as low and very low, because that just means that it's not good enough to be sold on just about any platform. So in order to kind of rank from top to bottom, 
you simply click on the relative demand icon one time and it will rank the products from very high all the way down. So once you do this, then what you want to be doing is you want to be using the basic general strategies that you use for that given advertising platform. For instance, if you want to use these products for Facebook, you would look for a product which looks unique, quirky, has a unique factor to it. And then you would do research to see if there's any other people selling that product or not. But with this strategy, what you're going to notice is that a lot of these products actually have never even been seen before, let alone sold on Facebook. So this is kind of a perfect way to find a lot of those six figure hidden potential winning products simply because this is very, very new. It was just launched and these products, I can almost guarantee you, you probably have not really seen getting advertised. So this is one great way to do product research. Just simply look through and look for those products that until all the way down to medium relative demand. But again, once you identify that given product, that's when you go into the specifics of the advertising platform. So for Facebook, it's completely different than what you would do with Google. With Google, what I would personally do is I would go on the keyword planner tool. I would search up the main keyword for that. And I would see if there's over 20,000 to 25,000 monthly searches. If that happens, then I would try to source the product from AliExpress or eBay. If that's also happening, then that's when I would go look at the competitors, try to see how I can outrank them, etc., and go from there. But this is a great way to be finding those new winning products, both for Facebook as well as Google or just about any other advertising platform. But the Google Merchant Center is not good just for that. There's another section within this which you can look at to find those winning products, and that is the change from last week section. If we go back onto the Merchant Center and look at this section right next to relative demand, we can see that this change from last week section is basically the change in popularity over the last seven days for any given product. So this is another way that I do research by simply ranking these products from greatest to least when it comes to the change from last week. And what you're going to notice is that these two categories are completely different from each other, which means that the products that you see in one, you most likely will not see in the other. So this is like an additional product research method for you combined into one, because you're going to be leading to a lot of different products via this strategy. But what you want to be doing from the change from last week section is looking for the number 3000 and above. I've noticed that the products with the number 3000 and above are the ones that are usually doing much better compared to the others. But of course, always do your due research and look in further into the product. Maybe if we are using Facebook ads, see if there's any competition with Google, try to see how much keyword volume there is, what kind of competition there is, etc., and go from there. But 3000 is the ideal number to be looking at. This is basically 3000 points indicating that that is the amount of points it has jumped up within the last seven days. So that is a good amount. What I've personally noticed is that anything less than 3000, that may not be a good product to be worth investing your time on. So always look at this number. As you can see, we already came below 3000. So what I would do is I would maybe go up and start from this product all the way above. But an amazing way to be doing product research, both of these on the Google Merchant Center. Let's move on to the next strategy, which you can be using regardless of whether you have a Merchant Center account or not. And that is the Amazon gifts for everyone section. Now, this is another new kind of section, which has just come into play simply because this was only available during the holiday season. And this kind of goes away after the holiday season. However, if you're just watching this video, this is going to be perfect for you because after New Year's and after, right now when I'm recording this video, it is mid December. But after New Year's, you're still going to be able to visit this section and look for products within this section. Basically, it is what it says. Amazon gifts for everyone. It's an entire list of gift ideas which people can give to each other. And the reason why I like this section so much is because it has a large variety of products which you can source from AliExpress easily. And you can also sell it regardless of what time of the year it is. So if you scroll all the way down, this is the gifts for everyone section. As you can see, this, these products are very, very generic. However, some of them are very unique, quirky. You can use them both for Facebook as well as Google. The beauty about this section is that if you continue scrolling down, it just keeps on going on and on and on. So you have a wide variety of different products and a huge list of products that too that you can be choosing from. So once you come to the section, the next step is for you to know exactly where you want to sell these products because these products can both be sold on Facebook or Google or also on other advertising platforms. So from here, it will be basically choosing the products based on their criteria, such as quirkiness or wow factor for Facebook or search volume and profit margins for Google, because those are some of the main things for each of the given advertising platforms that you should be looking for. But as you can see, we're still going down the list and the list just keeps on going on. So this is a wide variety of products. You should never run out of product ideas if you do plan to use this session. 
However, I always recommend that you use both strategies, which I had just mentioned. Maybe sign up for a new Google Ads account, start a few campaigns on there so you can get access to that section within the Merchant Center. There's a lot of people dealing with bans and suspensions when it comes to the Merchant Center, so you'll have to be careful when opening up your Merchant Center account. But once that's open, once that's running, just run a few campaigns for a few days, and that should let you access that private section of the Merchant Center so you can get access to a wide variety of products, which are basically untapped winning products. And the next thing is, of course, Amazon gifts for everyone. Just search that up on Google and you should be able to see the link very, very quickly at the top. And that will lead you to more and more searches within this section. But those are two of the new strategies which I'm using to do product research starting from 2021 and onwards. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.